there, it's Rajshree here. Welcome back to another episode of What's New at Document 360 featuring the updates from the month of June. Creating and maintaining a great documentation can feel like a lot. Whether it is writing new content, keeping everything on brand or making sure your users find the right answers, it's not always easy. But what if you could automate the heavy lifting, make content creation faster and even localize every part of your site without an extra effort. That's exactly what this month's update is all about. Let me show you what's new. Okay, let's start with one of my favorite updates. So, have you ever caught yourself staring at a blank page, just wishing for it to magically turn into a documentation? Or maybe you've got a support transcript, a video demo, a bunch of content sitting in your head, but no time to write? Yeah, we've all been there. Worry no more, you now have Eddie AI Writing Agent inside Document 360. And it can take a simple prompt, a video file, or even a transcript and turn it into a fully written article in just a few seconds. Isn't that easy? Now you need your article to match your brownstone? Just apply your style guide and Eddie handles everything from voice and structure. And what's really cool is, you don't even have to leave the editor. You can fine tune, extend, or even summarize content right there. It's like having your best content writer on call 24 bar set. Speaking of style, you can now tell Eddie exactly how to write for you. Yes, with the new style guide feature, you can define the tone, preferred structure, SEO settings, tagging rules, all of it. Once it's set, Eddie will follow those rules every time it generates content. So you get articles that sound like you, not like AI. Now let's talk about the editor. Before, if you added reusable content like glossary term or a snippet, you'd just see the placeholder name. Not anymore. Now you'll see the actual content in line in the advanced Wizwick editor. And yes, you can still convert it into plain text with just a click. So, no more guessing what will show up on the published page. So, you've translated your articles into other languages, but labels like page not found or explore articles still show up in English? We heard you. Now, you can customize those labels using localization variables. Breadcrumbs, filter buttons, tooltips, error messages, you name it. So now you decide what your users see in every language. And that's it for this month's update. Check out the link in the description for more details. Or if you've got questions or want to see a deep dive of any of these features, just drop them in the comments or sign up for a free trial with us today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on another exciting video soon.